Hello, Mo Minis welcomes you to the Studio Introduction Tutorial. We're going to double click on the icon to open the studio. Welcome to Mo Mini Studio, the perfect tool for rapid mobile games development. Let's start playing. First, let's open a basic file that will help us through this tutorial. Let's follow the instructions and open the file. That's it. Now the game is open and we can view what it contains. On the right side, you can see the list of rooms, which are basically the stages of the game. Let's go to the main room. The room designer allows you to view and change the components of the room. In any stage of the game creation, you can see how the game currently looks by running it in the studio's simulator. We are about to open the simulator. As you can see, nothing really happens. This is because no logic has been defined in the game yet. Now back to the game. This game could use a bit of logic. Let's help the Moboy that is standing on the pole to get down to the floor. In the studio, the Moboy character is called a sprite. The sprite contains both logic and graphic settings. To make Moboy move, we have to edit its logic. On the left side of the studio, you can see a toolbox that contains all the game objects in the current game. You can see that the sprite of the Moboy is there. Welcome to the Object Editor. This is where you edit your sprite. Let's explore what this character contains. Before editing the logic, let's have a look at the Resources tab that displays all the animations that the sprite holds. Here you can see the range of animations that the Moboy sprite can display. The default animation is Standing. This means that if we don't change it, Moboy will play the Standing animation by default. Except for the animations, the Moboy sprite has not yet been configured. Now we will edit the logic of the Moboy. This is the logic screen. The logic in the studio is defined by events and actions. As you can see, this page is empty. We can define how the Moboy should act by adding events and actions to the object. Let's make the Moboy move to the right when we press the right key. First, we will add a keyboard event. Configuring the keyboard event is easy. Just follow the instructions. To make the Moboy move right when the right key is pressed, we have to add actions to the event. Finding the action you want has been simplified by our filtering text box. Just type in the action you are looking for. Press the Enter key to add it. Let's set the direction of the speed to the right and set the size to 40, which is a suitable speed for walking. Another way of opening the simulator is by pressing on Control plus T key. Now we will make the Moboy portray the movement of walking. For this purpose, we are going to add a change animation action. We are now selecting the walking animation. Let's view how the changes affect the game. I'm now pressing the right key. Okay, that's much better. But he's still walking on air. We should fix that. How can we make him act like a regular character in a game? We can achieve that without writing logic at all, by using an existing capability. So, let's give the Moboy the ability to act like a regular character. Click on the Capabilities tab. 
The Studio allows you to use capabilities in order to add logic to your sprite. Just for you, we've created a Platform Hero capability that you can see below. Among its features, this capability will allow MoBoy to interact with the platforms of the game. Basically, after adding this capability to your MoBoy, he will know that he should fall when reaching the end of the platform he's standing on, stop falling when reaching another platform, and do other cool things. Now our MoBoy will act as a Platform Hero which basically means that he's going to fall down when he gets to the end of the pole. Using the shortcut keys is easy and efficient. I'm pressing the right key. Unfortunately, MoBoy died. This is because of the Platform Hero capability that he uses. The Platform Hero is programmed to die when hitting the platform in high speed which is what led to MoBoy's death. But don't worry, that's nothing that an umbrella and a little more logic can't fix. In order to save the MoBoy, we will make him open an umbrella and lower his speed when the fire key is pressed. The fire key on the phone is represented by the enter key on the computer keyboard. Follow the directions you are given to achieve the desired behavior. Another way to add an action is to double click on it. We are now choosing the opening umbrella animation. Great, now the MoBoy knows that he should open his umbrella when the fire key is pressed. But what about slowing him down? What we want is that MoBoy will change his speed after the umbrella is opened. To do so, we will use the Animation Ended event. We are now choosing the Opening Umbrella animation. When the umbrella is open, we want three things to happen. One, we want the MoBoy to look like he is gliding. Two, the MoBoy should slow down. Three, since the MoBoy is affected by gravity, he accelerates downwards. Using the umbrella should make him fall at a fixed speed, so his acceleration should change to zero. Let's make it happen. To make MoBoy look like he is gliding, we will select the diving animation, which portrays the act of gliding. We are now selecting the diving animation. To make MoBoy slow down, we will add a set speed action. Similarly to when we chose the speed for walking, we will once again choose the speed of 40 for MoBoy's gliding. Only this time, we will direct MoBoy downwards. And finally, to make the MoBoy stay in a fixed speed, we will use the Accelerate action. The acceleration is set to zero. MoBoy will no longer accelerate down. We can now click on the OK button. That should work just fine. We're just about done. Let's go to the room again. The stage could be a lot nicer. Let's decorate it by adding a few items. I think we should add a few trees, a door, and a few other items to the room to make it more alive. That's it, we're done. All you have to do is sit back and open the simulator. I'm pressing the right key. I'm pressing enter. I'm a platform hero. Bye bye. Not only have we created a small game in several minutes, but also the game works seamlessly on most popular mobile phones. Creating professional mobile games was never so easy. 
If you have any more questions, you are more than welcome to visit us at our website, www.mominis.com, or email us at support at